It's been a week since a hit and run crash killed two little girls at the intersection of 22nd and Center. Their 10 year old cousin remains in the hospital battling injuries this afternoon. At the time of the deadly crash, the three children were on their way home from a neighborhood playground and trying to cross the street. And we've seen this heartbreaking story unfold. A community is changed forever. Leslie Scott is a certified child life specialist with Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, and she joins us now to talk about how to talk to your children in the aftermath of a tragedy. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. I think it's such an important topic. So when we do see a story like this one unfold in the news, how do children internalize that? Sure. So I think the, the most important thing is if children are seeing these stories on the news is to really focus on the basic information because we're not really sure sometimes exactly what they've heard mm -hmm. or how they're feeling about it. So we want to make sure by starting and asking the question, what do you know? Let's is, start there. Is that how you start the conversation to mm -hmm. explain something like this to them? Yeah. So what do you know? And then after they're able to explain the details that they heard or have been exposed to, then you can ask them what questions they have. We don't want to provide any additional graphic information or over information that would cause more anxiety. Kids know a lot of times what they need and they're really good at asking those questions if you create that open space for them to ask them. Why is it so important to to keep it limited and to make sure that they just know this happened and this happened, just the basic info? Because we don't want to overwhelm them. Kids, like I said, really know what information they need mm -hmm. and we can't tell you exactly what is bothering them the most about that. So finding out that, oh, in the situation of um, the hit and runs, making sure that we know what the child has heard and then what was most concerning about that for them so we can directly um, answer those specific questions without getting too overwhelming. Directly address it. And we have information on how to get a hold of uh, your, your program at Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for coming in. You can find more information of the Child Life Program on our website. Just head to tmj4.com and head to the links section.